Welcome to today's session, which is about how to use alignment and profile creation tools for the design of cul-de-sacs. Cul-de-sacs occurs at the end of a street, usually characterized with a turning circle or a hammerhead. In designing the cul-de-sac, we will use alignment tools and profile creation tools. The workflow that we will um, utilize, we will create an alignment, then we will generate a profile uh, of the alignment, then we will build a corridor for the cul-de-sac, then we will set targets for our corridor, then finally we will build a surface linked to the straight road section. My name is Louis Sotoy, I'm a civil engineer at Tabisa Consulting. This channel is for you and the topics we cover come directly from questions we get on a daily basis. So if you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel. We also welcome your comments on this video. If there are other topics you would like us to cover, please get in touch by leaving a comment. With that said, let's dive in. To give a bit of background, we've been asked to design the internal roads for this project. Um, we have already done some of them, as you can see. And for this presentation, we will focus on the design of this cul-de-sac. Uh, we have already uh, designed this one, but I just want to show you how we had done it. So let's get started. After designing the this part of the road, uh, where this, the straight portion and the, the curve, as well as that intersection there. We now have to create a corridor along this polyline, which represents the edge of travel way. So we are gonna create an alignment from objects. Uh, we will pick that object, we will accept the direction. Um, we just want to name this, um, the name of this alignment, we're going to call it uh, Caldasec 8. Um, let's see, okay, we don't want to put the, we don't want that, we'll erase the existing components just want that okay so now as you can see it has um, created a, an alignment for us now that we have an alignment we need to create a a surface profile for this alignment and we will be using the surface the the existing crown surface uh, I just, I just want to come and put it right there. So let's go in here. Let's, uh, using the profile creation tools, we're going to uh, design our profile. Okay. Okay, um, looking at the fact that we, we want to have a low point on this cul-de-sac, yes, just to allow for the stormwater to be able to go through. So uh, we have already determined uh, the, we've calculated what that low point is going to be. So now uh, I just want to using these um, transparent tools, I want to uh, create this profile, this design profile of ours. And at this point, we're going to be our level is going to be 15. Let me see, 
and then at a change of 35.2 we're gonna have seven point seven six, and then we we'll come back to seventy six four seven. Uh, okay, let me just fix this. Uh, seventy six point four seven zero. See. Okay, and my level there will be okay, that will be it. Let's just have a look at our at our okay, I think we I'm happy with that. Just wanna put a curve in here. I think what I just think to go through streets. Let me just do a create an intersection. Okay, Let's see yeah. Where we can get a cab length of let's say ten meters fine. Okay, so we got our got our cab there. Okay, so that's that is the profile of our cul de sac. Just want to set the style here. Mm. Uh, this must pick uh, let me pick that yeah then it's just to give us proper information okay now that we've got our profile we now are going to build this corridor of ours Okay, let's see corridor. Uh, we're gonna build. We're gonna build this corridor of ours. Uh, let's create a alignment. Pick that alignment. Uh, let's see the assembly. We're gonna use number six. Uh, the profile we're going to use that profile we will target the existing ground uh, let me see corridor style i'm happy with that uh, okay let me see okay i'm happy with that let's build it there's our there's our, our corridor uh, I just want to see if I can select this I just want to be able to edit the frequencies because we're in a curve let's just go two meters it looks better you can notice here that in this corridor of ours we've got this uh, teardrop shape um, and this has happened because the corridor has maintained a constant width around uh, as it went around the, the the edge of travel to fix this, we've got to just uh, look at the targets. We will edit the targets of this region. Okay, we're gonna come here in terms of the width. I want to target that center line. Okay, and then in terms of the 
Elev oh sorry. And then in terms of the out the level target, uh, I'm gonna target the profile of I'm gonna target that vertical alignment. And uh, say okay. Oh yeah, now we no longer have now the thing is now fit. Okay. Um the next step that we now gonna do okay now we want to just uh create the surface of this uh let's see uh Let's do the top and uh, set that. Okay, then I'll do a boundary and use the outer. I'll repeal that corridor. Okay. Let's bring this guy in there. Okay, so now see our surfaces. Now we've got a beautiful, we've got a beautiful um, cul-de-sac. We hope this video has shown you how you can model your cul-de-sac in Civil 3D using alignment and profile creation tools. We welcome your comments on this video. And also we would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and make suggestions on other topics that you would like us to cover. With all of that, thank you very much.